Hello everybody, in this short video I'm going to show you how you can use DaVinci Resolve to make a progress bar for your social media um, videos. So I've got a little tutorial video here, the kind of thing that you could throw up online, and what you often see on these videos is a little progress bar, so something that gives you an indication of how much more of this clip you've got to watch. Um, the kind of progress bar that I'm thinking about is this kind of thing. So instead of it just being a progress bar that goes along the bottom, if I scroll along, you can see it's the progress bars that goes along the side like that, goes around the outside. So as you get to the end of the video, the box completes, and then you get a nice wipe through into a graphic or something like that. So something a little bit more complicated than the progress bar that just runs across the bottom of your screen, which you can do with a fairly simple mat and then some transforms and keyframing and all of that kind of stuff. So what I've done is I've created three common ones um, and I did these in After Effects and then rendered them out. So you can see there's a portrait one there. And I've also got a square one. And you can get these files from a link that's in the comments below. So if you want to have a go at this or use these yourselves, feel free. Follow the link, download the files, and they're all yours. They are quite big files because I created them in After Effects. But um, one of the important things about these files is that the alpha channel has also been baked in. So this black background that you can see here is actually see-through. And you can see that if I drag this clip here and just drag it down onto the timeline. So you can see, let's just zoom in a little bit. As I scroll along, you can see the line appears, but I can still see that um, background. I can still see that clip in the background. So I don't need to worry about setting any keys or anything like that with this content and DaVinci Resolve and actually Premiere um, will play nicely with these clips as well. It will uh, respect the alpha channel in that. So the first thing that I've kind of got away from the need from is any keying. So I've saved myself a little bit of time there, certainly some render time probably, depending on the machine that you're working on. But there's a problem and you can see the problem here if I zoom out a little bit is that I've only rendered out 10 seconds um, and that's not long enough to cover the whole of this clip. Well, in DaVinci Resolve, that's fairly easy to um, sort out. If I just right click and do retime controls, and then I'm just going to drag that and drop it. And now it's basically retime that clip so that it finishes in exactly the right time. So now I've got a nice little bar that runs around the edges of my clip, timing it out, and it should finish exactly on the end of that clip. And then the final thing that you might want to do with these uh, timing boxes is to brand them up a little bit. And by that, I mean change the color. So white may not be on brand. You may have another color that you want to use for your particular that matches your graphics and that kind of stuff. And so what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to nip across to color here. Um, and I'm going to select the color wheels option, which should normally default to a view like this. But I'm going to uh, jump over to the bars option. And I'm going to look at the gain here. And if I start to move those RGB sliders up and down, you can see that the uh, color of that particular graphic changes. So I can just set my RGB levels to be a color that really stands out, really pops against the background or fits in with my brand. And then if I go back here, you'll see now I've got that video sitting over the top, or, or that bar sitting over the top, that nice bright line that should just time really nicely to the end. So that combination of the movie here or the MOV file here that's rendered out with that alpha channel, a bit of retiming, and then some color messing around to get the, the uh, color of the bar that I want. And that's a pretty quick way to get a slightly fancier progress bar on your social media video. Don't forget, if you want those three clips to have a play around with, the link that'll take you to uh, the download is available in, in the description below.